Hey, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can add this caustics underwater effect to your map, uh, which is really neat if you want to do a underwater simulation. It uh, has this nice look to it, and you can also create some highlights with it for for special spots if you want to. So it's. Um, it really adds a lot to the atmosphere. So the first, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new material. So right click somewhere, new material, and then we can create this material here, which looks a bit intimidating, but it's not that complex. And um, a lot of uh, these things here are just to control uh, the appearance a bit more. And I'll also add it in the comments so you can download it if you want to. And you only have to change the texture, which I'll not add because it's a texture from the marketplace and I don't think I have the copyright to include it. So the first thing we want to do is here, the texture coordinate, uh, we want to split it, the U and the V, the UV coordinates into the U and the V part with these masks uh, so we can scale them separately via these parameters here, and then append them back, back together as input for our, basically our UVs here in the texture samples later. Um, as you can see, we have basically then these three panners, this one, this one, and this one down here, which, pan these three textures here, these texture samples. Um, so if you only look at this one, you see it pans it in one direction. Um, you see at the speed here, it gets a zero for the V part of the UV's speed. And this one gets zero for the U part of the UV speed, but if we preview this one, see it pans in the other direction. And also you see that here the squiggly lines are a bit bigger because we multiply the coordinates uh, with a factor of 0.8. So um, the, the two textures don't overlap after they panned about the same length which would look uh, really odd because then the holes and the lines would overlap. And the third one here, down here, is uh, a bit bigger and it pans in both directions and it creates the, the big, faster moving lines you can see here, which um, I, I think adds a lot of the, adds a nice little touch to it. Um, so basically, it's the same here. We just multiply the speed a bit and uh, make it very big. And then we lerp the, the two together here. So you can see it's um, these are the two smaller ones. And then we add the bigger one on top of it. And down here, we can add a base offset to the whole thing because we use it as a light function. And we want to avoid the black holes that might appear every now and then, um, because I think it looks a bit weird. And then we can multiply it to make it a bit brighter or not. Um, but it's that's really up to you. Um, play around with those values a bit to see if you like it or not. Um, I also said it's a light function. So in your material, it's um, important. The material domain must be light function. And if you want to use it, just add a light source. So go to modes, lights, and add a directional light to your map. And I've done this here. So I have a light here. And then down here, light function. Just use your material. Uh, I've added a I've created a material instance from the material, so uh, I can quickly change a few of the parameters. For example, if I choose another texture real quick, 
for example, this one, uh, then you see that it's, it's looking a bit similar, but it's not a tiling texture. So you see these um, lines here. So you, you really, really need to use a tiling texture. But uh, you get the idea. Yeah, and then um, basic, that's basically it. You can then adjust the light a bit. You can make it uh, a bit brighter or darker as, as you need it to. A uh, nice thing about this is uh, this is your basically your skylight, so um, it affects the whole world, and it, it also casts shadows. So that's I think that's really nice. So only, you only need one light source, and uh, it creates these this nice caustic effect. And also you can what you can do is you can create for example, these spotlights to make a bit of an effect uh, underwater. Um, if you want to highlight some special place or something like that, um, you can play around and also add this material to create some nice underwater effect. Okay, that's uh, basically it. Thanks for watching.